More than 10,000 Kenyans travel abroad annually in search of medical treatment and end up spending at least 10 billion shillings annually. This is according to Kases MP Swarup Mishro. It is against this backdrop that the legislators come up with a bill that seeks to amend the Health Act. This will see the introduction of a new section that will provide development of policy guidelines to regulate the referral of patients outside the country. It is very costly to go outside the country to the treatment. Number two, there is no pre-operative, post-operative follow-up or pre-operative workup. It doesn't do in properly because of when you're going outside the country. Lack of relatives, friends and foes, emotional support is not there. Post-operative complications or post-operative management, there is nothing to nothing well managed. Uh, then, of course, long-term chronic diseases, it is really mismanaged by medical tourism outside the country. The MP says that there should be a clear referral system to ensure the follow-up is well channeled. Cancer patients make up more than 50% of Kenyans seeking medical treatment overseas. Renal diseases take up to 16.8%, followed by cardiovascular diseases with 7.8%, while skeletal disorders account for 3.4%. Organa is very hot, eh? A doctor by profession, Kesses MP, says some ailments do not warrant referrals and can be treated in the country. His bill will also give patients information on when it is necessary to seek treatment outside the country. People will be self-sufficient. There will be more patients will be here, practiced. Health education, health research will be in place and it will be more stronger and strengthened. Uh, as a result of what? The... People uh, will be well treated at home. The infrastructures, uh, equipments will be at home. Kenya will be destination of medical tourism and travels to other countries. Then other manufacturers for medical disposables, medicines, drugs, pharmaceuticals, uh, uh, pharmaceuticals, and also the medical furnitures and equipments, contract manufacturing will happen in Kenya. For whole Africa, imagine. So it will be a country of medicine, medical facility. He further reiterated that the governments need a proper guideline that will bring about sanity while ensuring timely access to quality and affordable health care by all Kenyans. The former deputy chair for the health committee said that it's time Kenya focused on streamlining and perfecting its local referral systems. It has reached a scenario 75% to 80 percent treatment modality or to that matter 85 percent we are available here so what we are saying those who are not cannot be treated or treatable they can go outside the country but those who can treat it unnecessary we should not send them in 2015, the Ministry of Health found that 40% of those who traveled overseas for treatment had renal diseases. Between July and December 2019, over 350 applications were submitted to the Ministry's vetting committee seeking medical treatment abroad. During this pandemic time, we learned a lot. We have to be self-sufficient in our health practice because we cannot uh, travel. And the... Uh, the, the, the country of other side may not be technically or bureaucratic constraints will may not allow uh, the, to take the patients there. Angela Cherur, K24 Weekend Edition.